Well, I guess we should find a hotel for the night. I'm really sorry we don't have any more room on the boat. Oh, it's all right. It's a little cold for my blood anyway. It's so wonderful that you're here. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for coming. You're really good friends. Ryan, look, in all the years I've known you, I've never known you to be so upset by something. If there's anything I can do. Really, Liz, it's all right. I just want to get the keys to this boat back to the owner and then head back to the island. Can you really go back now? After dredging up all these memories and feelings, can you really just leave that all behind? You stay in harmony. You'll ruin the lives of your whole family. Is that what you want? I'm tired of you locals pushing me around. It's time that you and your kind Remember the power of the Crane's power that we will not hesitate to use to crush those who forget their place. You're a nasty piece of work, Crane. Oh, indeed I am. It's all the more reason to remember the threats that I made before you departed Harmony years ago, and I promise you, I will make good on each and every one of them. I hate your stinking guts. Say whatever you like. Just do whatever you like. Well, come back to Harmony. See your familiar. Know that you'll be opening a whole can of worms. A can, I dare say, you want kept shut. That's a very good question. One I don't have the answer to. right. It is pretty cold out here on the water. I'm gonna head down below. Okay. Maybe I do know the answer. I'm not gonna run anymore. It's time that I put my past behind me. won't let Julian ruin my life. All these years I have lived with the pain of thinking that my baby was dead. And he's not! He's alive! I'm sorry for your pain, but that baby did not live. Yes, he did! You had someone take him away for God only knows what reason! You ruined my life, Julian! Just like you ruined TC's life! God, you're a monster! Uh -huh. I'm a monster. I've ruined everyone I've ever met. Blah, blah, blah. Are you quite finished? No, not even close. Well, I am. I'm finished with this insanity. I'm going to have your insane husband locked up. And I'm going to let it out that you and I had an affair and a child. No. What? No, you, you can't. I can, and I will. My family finds out about my past, I lose everything. I've got to stop him. Eve, I didn't expect to see you back here. I'm looking for Sam. I thought you took TC back home after you attacked Julian. I did. He's home sleeping. I gave him a sedative. Oh, good. He was so angry, I... I really thought he might kill Julian. Julian Crane caused the accident that ruined my career. Took my dreams away. My father's dreams. My father died a broken man because he was so distraught. Now it's time for Julian to pay for what he's done to us. I'm glad to hear you say that. You're right. Julian must pay. Pop. 
Yes, son. Julian has gotten away with what he did to us for far too long. It's time for you to destroy the man that destroyed our lives. What are you saying? It's not your baby, Ethan. Teresa, what are you talking about? Teresa, whose baby is it if it's not Ethan's? Teresa, who's the father? Oh. What, you people are still here? This party's over. You'll get no more food and no more drinks. So you can all just vamoose. So Julia! What? Oh, no, this is gonna be horrible. You got that right. Uh, Teresa's life is as good as over, and Julian's life is just plain over. Ah, no. What the hell you do? Stop. Stay away from me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This just keeps getting better and better. I haven't had so much fun in ages. No, wait, wait, what on earth is going on here, bastard? I'll kill you for what you've done. Looks like the scroll was dead on accurate. Gonna be a murder tonight. And the lucky winner is Julian Gray. come back. You robbed me of all that time with my family. But all that's gonna change now. Hey, stranger. Long time no see. Hey, I thought you guys were gonna go try to find a place to stay. Oh, well, Doc forgot his bag and, you know, Doc, he'd lose his head if it weren't attached. <sighs> I'll be right back. We won't have to worry about this cold weather anymore. Why? Is Harmony going to experience an unseasonable heat wave? No. It just means that we're going to contact the person we're returning the boat to tomorrow. And after that, we're heading back to the island. I have to admit, though, I'm still kind of hoping that something will happen before we leave. Oh, you're still hoping that you'll remember everything? I just have this strong connection to Harmony. I was hoping that by being here, it would jog my memory. Mm, still might. Maybe you just haven't found that one thing that'll help you remember your past. I sure hope you're right. Because I, I can't shake this feeling that there's something still waiting for me here. Look, look, what is wrong with you people? The only thing that's wrong is that you're still alive. But we're about to put an end to that. Mama, Mama, this is my worst nightmare. Ethan and Luis are going to kill Julian, and it's all my fault. Not bad for a night's work, if I do say so myself. You better stop Ethan from doing something he'll regret. Please. Please. Please don't do this. He'll ruin your life and Julian is not worth it. Yeah, well, seeing him suffer will be worth it. Dad, you lunatics treat me like this in my own home. You're both stock raving mad. You haven't seen anything yet, Julian. Are you going to pay for forcing yourself on my sister? <laughs> Teresa would never willingly sleep with a pig like you. You took advantage of her. What have you been telling them, dear? You took advantage of an innocent girl. You got her drunk, and then you got her pregnant. What? Pardon me. Teresa's pregnant? You heard me. Teresa was pregnant, and the baby was yours. This is one hell of a party. <laughs> Why did you come back here after you took TC home? I had to. I just had to. Are you all right? It wasn't TC's imagination. What do you mean? 
I don't know how, but TC's father must have been here tonight. He told TC the combination of Julian's safe. Now, if he wasn't here, how could TC have known the combination to Julian's safe? I don't know. But I do know things happen that can't be explained. And if what happened to TC here tonight was real, then maybe what happened to me months ago during that strange fog was real. Yeah, I remember that night. I, I found you outside on the ground. You said that you'd see your baby alive. I saw my past, but a different version of it. I watched someone steal my baby from the hospital nursery on the night that he was born. The nurse lied, and she said that he died, but he didn't. He was alive. Eve, if, if that was true, I mean, who would have stolen your baby? There's only one person sick enough to do such a thing. It's Julian Crane. Oh, Eve, you came back here to confront Julian? I had to. I told him that I knew that our baby hadn't died, but he just denied everything, and he said I was being crazy. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. I know this must be really terrible for you. Oh, that's not even the worst of it, Grace. He's gonna tell everyone about our affair and about the baby that we had. Are you sure? Yeah. I saw the look in his eyes. Julian is gonna destroy me. I'm gonna lose everything. Eve, no, Eve, Eve. You, you, you can't do this. I'm not gonna let Julian destroy my life. It's time for you to kill Julian Crane. I know, Pop, but I'm still a little woozy from the sedative that Eve gave me. Well, I got the perfect way to snap you out of it. Just think of everything that Julian took from you. He robbed you of a future in tennis. I died of a broken heart because all our dreams were destroyed. You were headed for the big time, son. I know, Pop. I was on my way. You were the best. Until Julian took it all away. He was driving the car that caused your accident. And now you have the proof of what he did. His receipt from the auto body repair shop dated the day after the crime. Damn Julian for what he's done to me. And that ain't all. There's even more that Julian has done to you and your family. Or... Pop, what else did that bastard do? Right now, all you need to know is you can't let him get away with it. You're right, Pop. I'm going to take care of Julian once and for all. Eve, Eve, I will not let Julian Crane destroy my life. Listen to me, Eve. Don't do something that you're going to regret. I won't regret this for a second. Julian is determined to tell everyone. And my family will find out about our affair and about the baby we had. And I will lose everything that I care about. Do you really think that he's going to tell? Julian has to realize that TC will kill him if he finds out about your affair. I told him that. He said he didn't care that TC is already trying to kill him. Well, maybe he'll, he'll change his mind. He'll realize how much this would hurt you and your family. I realize that you are always trying to find the good in everyone. But there is no good in Julian Crane. He doesn't give a damn about me. He's a monster and he's got to be stopped. Please, do not do this. If you kill Julian, you will both go to jail. She's right. Don't let this scum ruin any more lives. Right now, all I care about is making him pay. Yeah, that goes for me, too. This is awful. No, no, you look at what I've done. Let me go. No, please. She deserves okay. to die. I know. No. No. A wonderful night. About to need a scorecard to keep track of all this delicious pain and suffering. Oh. Julian, I'm going to kill please. you for forcing yourself on my sister. No. You got her pregnant. What is it, sweet Teresa? Don't 
catch me? What are we doing in bed with each other? What? Making love, of course. No! Oh, these accusations are ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. The hell you don't! We all know that you slept with Teresa and got her pregnant. Teresa and I may have made love. You disgusting pig. I could kill you, Julian. But we were married. It was our wedding night, after all. It was only natural that we were... consummate our union. Teresa never would have gone to bed with you. You got her drunk and you took advantage of her. That simply is not true. Your sweet little fiance is the one who seduced me. And quite frankly, that girl was hot to trot. She was all over me. <laughs> You're a liar! Teresa would never do that! Enough out of your filthy mouth! Stay no, ah! away from me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Hey, hey, I'm gonna take care of that. Why don't you go to sleep, Slay? It's been a long day for you, too. You gonna go to bed soon? No. I don't think so. I, uh, I can't sleep. I'm gonna take a walk, you know, clear my mind. Look, I know this trip didn't bring you and your family back together. But for some reason, I, I just have this feeling that everything's gonna work out for both of us. Good night, Diana. Good night. I can tell that you really do want to see your family, but there's something or someone that's stopping you. Yeah, Liz. I want to see my family more than anything, but I can't. There's someone very powerful that's stopping me from it. Brian, if suddenly the... If suddenly this person disappeared, I mean, if they were out of the way, would you be able to go back? Yeah, absolutely. If this person was out of the way, I could go back to my family. Everything would be different if Julian Crane was out of the picture. Maybe it's time that I did something about it. Don't you see, Grace? I can't let Julian ruin my life. My family means too much to me. Look, th th there might be another way. Maybe it's time that you told TC the truth about your past. <gasps> TC already hates Julian for causing his car accident. If I tell him that I had an affair with him and we had a baby together, he'll go crazy. He would kill Julian without a second thought. You see, that's why I have to do this myself. I can't let TC get in trouble for the mistakes that I made. Eve, why don't I get Sam, huh? I mean, he's, he deals with crisis all the time. Maybe he can help you. No. No, Grace. Oh. You don't have to get Sam. I... I I just need to calm down. <sighs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. And you're probably right. I mean, Julian's just threatening me. He won't tell. Let's go get Sam and we can all get out of here, all right? Okay. Okay, let me just uh, clean myself up a little bit. I'll be right with you. Okay. I'm 
sorry, Grace. But I have to do this. I'm not going to let Julian Crane take away everything that I care about. How dare you talk about Teresa? Someone help me! Chad, let me go! He deserves it! I know, man, but you're not thinking clearly right now, right? This is only going to make things a whole lot worse. Reese, try to calm down. So what this scum did to Teresa? Who gets sick is me, too. But this is not the way to handle it. Right now it is. If Ethan and Louise killed Julian, they'll go to jail. Their lives will be ruined because of me, Whitney. Coward! Oh what? What? Ethan, I... Julian, you're not going to get away with this. Louise! Oh, give it up, Julian. You're not getting out of this one. Looks like I'm going to break the story of my career. Billionaire murdered. I certainly hope so. What have I done? What have I done? Hey, relax. It's just me. Let's, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? I'm sorry, I just... I needed to talk to you, Brian. Alone. Why? About what? I saw the gun earlier, Brian. I saw you put it in your pocket. <sighs> Liz, don't get involved. I'm already involved. I'm your friend. Brian, if you try to get revenge on this man from your past, you're only going to ruin your own life. My life is already ruined because of this guy. Look, he already forced me to run out of my family when they needed me most. And now, after all these years, I still can't go back without running the risk of hurting them. But there's got to be another way. No, there's not. The only way for me to go back to my family is to get rid of this guy. If what he did was so bad, why don't you go to the police? Because that's not going to make any difference. You have no idea how powerful this guy is. Okay. All right. Uh, that definitely makes things more complicated. But still... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't I hear you say earlier tonight that there are certain people in our lives that if we get rid of, our life would be a lot better off? Did you say that, or were those just words? Ryan, I was talking out of anger. Anger about some evil in my own past. I never meant for you to go out and take matters into your own hands. Brian, don't do this. It's payback time. Julian Crane's going to get what's coming to him once and for all. Here's what's gone down. Girls? What's going on? Oh. Everything's awful, Dr. Russell. Ethan knows the truth. He knows that I'm pregnant with Julian's child. Oh, Teresa. Oh, I'm so sorry. This must be tearing you apart. My life is over. I lost everything. Oh, no, Teresa, I think you should just calm down. But maybe we can find Ethan and the two of you can talk. Uh, where is he? He ran after Julian after he heard what happened, and so did Luis. Yeah, they both went crazy, just like I knew they would. And I'm afraid they're going to kill him. Their lives are going to be ruined because of me. No. This isn't your fault, sweetheart. Dr. Russell, yes, it is. If I hadn't gone down to Bermuda to convince Julian to taking Ethan back, none of this would be happening. How could it have been so stupid? Sweetie, you have to stop blaming yourself. Julian did this. He got you drunk, and he took advantage of you. He is the one to blame. He's a monster. He takes advantage of young women. He steals their innocence. He uses them, and he doesn't give a damn how he ruins their lives. Mom, I don't understand. I mean, you're acting like this has happened before. Do you know another woman that Julian got pregnant? Oh, Whitney, if you only knew. I have to get out of here. Those lunatics won't stop until they've murdered me in cold blood. Oh!
killed Julian if it's the last thing I do. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Chad, let me go! I can't let you do this, man. You're going to be the one who winds up suffering if you off Julian. Look, I don't care. He slept with Teresa. I know, man, but killing him is not going to change that fact. Julian believed he was my father for 20 years. He claimed he cared about me. You know, and then he seduces the woman I love, the woman I'm planning to marry. Now, what kind of man does that? Hey, the lowest kind, man, all right? I'm not arguing that. But this is not the answer. Yes, it is. Look, I, I watched Julian use women my whole life, and I didn't do anything about it. And now he's done the same thing to Teresa, and I won't let him get away with it. Okay, but you're not, you're not thinking clearly right now, okay? But he forced himself on her, Chad. And she was pregnant with his baby. Look. Man, hey, I know this is tearing you up inside, all right? But you, you can't do anything right now when you're all worked up like this. If someone did this to the woman you love, what would you do, Chad? Would you be acting any different than I am right now? Please. Oh, thank God I found you. Please, come back to the house with me. Don't try and stop me, Mama. God. I failed as a brother. No, Mio. No, I did not protect Teresa at a time when she needed it most. Mama, I cannot sit back and let Julian get away with what he's done. Luis, please! Don't blame yourself for what that animal did. Yeah, an animal. It's exactly what Julian is. And when I get my hands on him, I'm... Luis, look. I understand your anger, son. I do, believe me. I get furious when I think of what that pig did to Teresa. But you're a policeman, son. Let the law handle Mama, this. Mama, the law cannot do anything about this. Julian is going to continue to run around a free man. And in the meantime, the cranes are going to spin this whole thing so that Teresa looks like a whore. You heard Julian in there. He's already trying to blame Teresa. Saying that she tried to seduce him. Mama, that's my sister I'm talking about. I know. I know it's awful. But don't let Julian ruin your life. He's ruined so many lives already. That's exactly the point. Julian has gotten away with hurting people time and time again. So Sheridan, and I know in my gut that they're responsible for Papa's disappearance. And now look what's happened with Teresa. No more. Julian is not going to live to hurt anyone ever again. Please, Brian, don't try to carry out this vendetta. I've been running too long. It's time for me to get my life back. What can I say? What can I say or do to make you stop this? Nothing. You can't say anything. I've already made up my mind. Can you do me a favor and stay here with Diana while I'm gone? I don't want her to be alone. I wish she wouldn't do this, Brian. Yes. If it makes you feel any better, I don't want to have to use this gun. But I'm going to do whatever necessary to make sure that my family is not threatened anymore. It doesn't exactly make me feel better, Brian. Just let me tell you something. I saw my mother and my sister at this man's house tonight. I have a funny feeling that somehow or another this man is threatening them, especially my sister. Okay. I can see there's no use in arguing with you about this. You're right. If I find out that this man is threatening my mother or my sister, I will destroy him. I don't understand, Mom. I mean, do you know another young woman that Julian got pregnant? Well, I'm just sure that a man like Julian has put other young women in this situation. <laughs> nice save, Dr. Russell. Little does your daughter know you're telling your own life story. <sighs> well, I, I don't understand. You know, I... I really believe that I could keep Ethan from finding out about my pregnancy. You know, Mama warned me. Whitney warned me that secrets always come out and, well, they were right. Now Ethan knows the truth and I have lost everything. Maybe not, Teresa. I mean, maybe you and Ethan can talk through this and work it out. Maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> Whitney, I could tell by looking at Ethan, it's over. 
My mistake with Julian has cost me the man that I love. I'll be right back. Eve, where are you going? You heard her. Julian's ruined her life, just like he ruined mine. He doesn't deserve to live, and I'm going to make sure that he doesn't. Time to lighten up the mood with a little harmful fun. Well, I've never had a night quite like this one, Mrs. Crane. Of course, at my age, I don't get out much anymore. Oh, well, then you, you must be very tired. Would you, would you like me to have someone call you a cab? Oh, well, that's nice of you to worry about me, but I so rarely get a chance to be amongst good friends. <laughs> really? I, I hadn't realized you considered us good friends. I read tea leaves, you know. Oh, just a little hobby I picked up to pass the time. Would you like me to read your tea leaves, Mrs. Crane? I don't believe in that sort of thing. I believe we create our own destinies. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, I see a woman who is very happy. It seems she's had her revenge on a man who's made her life utterly miserable. Really? You can see that? Oh, yes, yes, it's all in here. Can, can you see, is the man punished? Oh, indeed he is. Oh, oh, my. I see the man dead. Interesting. Yes. But the person who killed him is going to be destroyed as well. Their life will never be the same. Well, that's really no concern of mine, is it? Well, it is, if that person is your son. If someone hurt the woman you love, what would you do, Chad? I'd kill the guy. Then you understand what I have to do. I grew up on the streets, man, all right? I learned to play by a different set of rules. I, I didn't grow up on the streets, but I know what I have to do. And Julian hurt the woman I love. And I'm not going to let him get away with it. Luis, mijo, por favor, no lo hagas. If you kill Julian, your life will be over. Mama, my life is nothing without Sherry, okay? So the best thing I can do is give Julian the punishment that he deserves. Luis, please! Mama! Don't do this! Listen to me. The best thing I can do is find Julian. And when I do, I'm going to kill him. Luis! <laughs> Now that Teresa's secret is out, she's lost everything, just like I am going to lose everything when Julian reveals my secret. If you're scaring me, I don't like what you're saying. I can't let Julian rob me of my husband and my children. He nearly destroyed me once, Grace. I'll be damned if he is going to do it again. What exactly are you saying? I'm saying that I'm not going to let Julian tear my life apart. And the only way that I can make certain that he does it is if he, he's dead. Tonight. No, no, no. E Ethan can't kill Julian. I, I thought it would be Luis. I suppose you never thought that your precious son would kill his ex-father. It never crossed your mind that your little scheme could backfire, did it, Ivy? Excuse me, but how do you know these things? Oh, I don't know anything. I just see what I see in the tea leaves. I, I, I can't let Ethan... I can't let Ethan do this. I, I have to stop him before it's too late. Well, you better hurry, Ivy, dear. You know what they say about best laid plans. <laughs> My life must be spared. I have so much to offer this world. I can only hide for so long before Ethan and Louise find me. Hopefully by then, 
cooler heads will have prevailed. Thank God that deranged TC went home. That's one less nutcase to worry about tonight. Nothing's gonna stop me this time. I'm not leaving here till Julian takes his last breath. We're gonna have a little talk, Julian. And this time, you're gonna listen. I hope you're not getting yourself into more trouble than you bargained for. Oh, hey, Liz. Hey. Where's Brian? Um, he went for a walk. Guess it's just us girls. What are you doing up? I was asleep, but I, I just had a nightmare. I woke up feeling panicked, like I was out of breath. What was your nightmare about? <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. But I sensed there was someone out there ready to kill another person. Do you remember anything else about your nightmare? No. Well, it's, it's just a feeling, but this person that's about to be killed has done some terrible things. I don't know what those things are, but they are definitely horrible. The person who's ready to kill, do you know who it is? I do. It's the man I love. Luis! Luis, have you seen Julian? No, but I'm gonna find him. Look, I, I know you're a cop, Luis, but I'm telling you, when I find Julian, I'm gonna kill him. No, Ethan, I am not a cop tonight. All right? I'm a brother who wants revenge. You listen to me, none of us are responsible for what happens tonight. Make no mistake about it. Julian Crane is a dead man.